welcome or welcome back to Watch Advice in YouTube World or That's Watch Us Other Stars, but today... My fault. There's a phone ringing. We do it again. It's not mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then we'll continue. Today we are at Parmigiani. With me is Guido Terreno, the CEO. Ciao, Guido. Ciao, Alex. Come stai? Sto bene, grazie. And we too are going to discover the novelties here at the booth. And as you know, the watches are the stars. We are going to disappear, but you will hear our voices, of course. So enjoy the watches. You're going to see some incredible stuff, huge on your screen, filmed with the best possible technology. Enjoy. Hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Here is the next watch in Platinum. You see it clearly, this is a tourbillon. There you have it, nicely reflecting the light. And now it's Guido telling you exactly what this is. Tourbillon at seven, as we said before, is a Parmigiani time. And uh, it is in Platinum, of course. And also the Blue Milano dial is in Platinum. So you have the sun blasted, which is coated with a blue color darker because the sun blasted effect uh, treats the light in a more matte way. So it's the same color of the GMT Rattrapante, but Guilloche reflects the light in a brighter way, so it seems darker. Very, very... Very formal, very elegant. What do you call it? Milano blue? Blue Milano, yes. Blue Milano. But contrasting very nicely the hands, and if they do mirror the light, now they do not because there is no light at this angle because uh, the watch is exactly looking into the lens of our camera, so there is no light here. But if I quickly go up a little bit and I look at some reflections, you see the Parmigiani logo nicely appears, then you see the indexes nicely appearing, and there is also light falling on the hands, reflecting it, of course, and you have excellent readability. And, of course, it highlights also the nice finish of the tubium cage. And I will now turn the watch around, show it you from the side. The thickness is... 8.5. 8.5, perfectly fitting under your sleeves also. Has to, because this is an elegant watch. And let me also ask, your cases are waterproof up to? 100 meters. All of them? Except that when you have a monopossoir with a rattrapante function, it's 60 meters. 60, wow. Yeah. Very good. So all of them claiming that they are not able to do waterproof cases should uh, learn how to do it with Guido Terreni and his team. You can even give a very elegant watch enough of water tightness. This watch, as you see, the tourbillon is waterproof up to 100 meters and the Rattrapante for 60 meters. That's nice. Platinum rotor. Platinum rotor. Minute tourbillon. Yeah. And you have the Côte de Genève circulaire in this uh, finish. You see the Côte de Genève, how they look like? They are round, they look like waves. Yeah. It looks like if they come out of this area here and they literally spread over the entire movement and this is really nice. You have here the finishing, beveled edges, everything is done so it's haute horlogerie, power reserve of the watch. 42. 42 hours. Also 21,600. 3 hertz. Yeah. And if you look close it also features a small second indication. In blue also. In blue. Look, here is the second hand. Since the cage rotates once per minute, if you do differentiate by color one of the legs of the arms of the tourbillon, and it is done here, what you have is the small second. And this is the small second. It moves on and it will turn once a minute or in 60 seconds. Exactly. always be careful because there is this Parmigiani logo so what I've been doing here without looking into the monitor is been closing this first and this will not work because you cannot close this so you have to be sure to close first this side yeah. and then there is a little round part that will welcome the PF <coughs> and welcome and it will sit perfectly here when I close then you have the PF you see here perfectly integrated you see here perfectly integrated in the butterfly clasp 
another price we need, and this is the tourbillon. We said it 150,000, and it's not limited. It's not limited. Is any of these watches limited, by the way? The next one. The, okay, <laughs> okay, but none, none of, of the none one of we the have one seen that we see. Yeah. No. So now this is really a wow effect, not only in uh, the color, the style and the fact that this is a chronograph, it is also a wow effect in terms of weight. We again have some pretty heavy stuff here and it is how many grams? Guido? 235. 230, 235 grams of red gold, a beautiful rose gold. And it is a chronograph you wouldn't expect coming from Parmigiani unless you know the brand a little bit. You already see that this is a fully integrated chronograph. Why? Because the pushers are in the same line as the crown. If it would be a modular chronograph, the push pieces would be on top of the crown, but this is not the case. And if I continue to turn that around and you have the first view on that extremely beautiful movement, then you know what I was talking about. This is really wow. The architecture of this chronograph is wow. So this is a manually wanded integrated chronograph with high frequency, 5 Hz. So the balance wheel that uh, you see is oscillating at the speed of 36,000 semi-oscillations yeah. or 5 Hz. And, and that tells you the tenth of a second. One tenth of a second. Yeah. Once you start the chronograph, the chronograph central hand will swipe over the dial with the speed of one tenth so of a second. The movement is in full solid gold. So you have 37 grams of gold in that movement. You have two column wheels, one for the chronograph, one for the rattrapante function. Of course. And uh, everything's done by hand. You see the angles, the anglage rentrant no, that you have on the bridges that are skeletonized. You can't get to that angle sharp with a machine. You have to do it by hand. And this is such a beautiful movement that Michel decided to sign it and you have a signature on the barrel. This is really art, I have to say. It's a beautiful chronograph architecture. This is pure art, pure watchmaking, fantastic decoration, fantastic work. So let me also show the functions of that chronograph Guido was talking about. It's a rattrapant. So it is a rattrapant or a split second chronograph. I start and now imagine that you are taking, you're making a measurement and let me just wait until the hand, the central second hand passes the minute hand so we have a better visibility on everything. And now if you want to take an intermediate time, you press here. I have to move gloves, it's a little bit difficult, but now I did it. And you see the one of the two hands stopped. You can make your reading. And once you have made your reading, you press again and Rattrape means in French catch up and the second stopped hand again disappears underneath the still running chronograph hands. So what else is featured? You have a 30 minute counter, you do have a hour counter, hour counter and of course the running second. And I would say this is yeah just beautiful because <laughs> Who expects this from a solid gold watch? One would say, oh, he's wearing that huge solid gold watch, but it's only because he wants to have a lot of gold on his head. No, this is watchmaking, pure watchmaking, embedded in a solid gold case. And this is really crazy. I have to play around again. Look, stop. We're taking an intermediate time. Okay, reading is done. Check, we press again with gloves. It's always a little bit tricky, but there it is. Nice, and then we stop and reset. And there you go. What else is on the dial to see, to make that clear? There's a tachymeter scale. No, a pulsometric. Pulsometer, wait. You see, that is when I'm pulled, that's pulsometer. You count 30 beats of your heart, and it tells you at which rate your heart is beating. So you take your finger, you count 30 beats of your heart, of course, you have to start the chronograph at that moment when you start counting. Yeah. And after 30 beats of your heart, 
you stop the chronograph and then you can read out your heart rate your heart rate on the scale here the nice bracelet polished finished on the outer links and matte on the inner links so giving some reflections but not too much and just uh, highlighting the design of this watch same you have here you have this legendary fluted basil of parmigiani but i think you're coming your identity a little bit yeah yeah it allows also to give a slimmer impression of the case and still the dial aperture is quite huge because compared to other watches the basil is quite thin mm -hmm. it's only a design element but it's not the major part of the watch and so the dial aperture itself is quite huge and the diameter of the watch is 42 42 millimeters and the thickness to 15 millimeters 15.2 15. 15. or something like that. 15 15.2 well, okay, there's lots of technology in there. Is this a limited series? 30 pieces. 30 pieces, but it, it is Parmigiani, so everything is a little bit different and better. And um, of course, you get a beautiful alligator strap that comes with the watch. Of course, the alligator strap does feature a pin buckle. It's not because they want to save money or they don't uh, want to sell you a folding clasp. But the idea was, as Guido just told me, Guido, please repeat it, because it, this is so incredible. Well, it's uh, the purity of the approach to watchmaking that Michel has. When you have such a masterpiece in the back of your watch, you want to admire it completely, so you don't want a folding clasp in between your eyes and the movement. The idea principally is that you can open it show up fully. fully and show the watch as I did, I do here. With and nothing in between your eyes. Nothing and the in between your eyes. And then you can really admire this movement without having this exactly. always in front of your eyes. Here you always have to go from an angle, up or down, or from the side. And with the beautifully alligator strap, this is not the case. And it comes with it. But the little flaw is it's not a quick exchange mechanism. You will have to either do it yourself if you are able to do that. It's no rocket science, but if you're not sure, you have to exchange this with your watchmaker or your authorized dealer. They will do that for you, of course, but it's no rocket science to do it. As Guido said before, it's a limited edition of 30 pieces and it's a numbered edition and not a watch that is sold one out of or one off. I hate these kind of limitations because they don't clearly say how much pieces you get. They say one out of 30, but they could be 32. Who can prove if they are selling 32 or only 25? No <laughs> one can. So this is really a limitation. It's number 24 out of 30. It's written here. And if you're interested in the watch, or if you want to be one of those who are wearing this beautiful chronograph later, you have to spend, Widow, tell me. 155,000. Swiss francs, including BAT. But uh, as I told you, it's a heavy piece of gold you have on your wrist. What was the weight of that uh, movement? 37 grams of gold in the movement. Beautiful. These are watches we all dream about. We can do only three per month. And three per month, so... It's, that's why 30, because if you have a month of holidays in December, it's 10 times three per month. So, a little bit of patience is necessary, but it's a beautiful watch. Nothing to say. Beautiful dial, beautifully executed, and total understatement still even though a gold watch is never understated, but yeah, it is still very clean, very pure. Very clean, very pure, too. Very Parmigian. How did you like the watches? <laughs> I have to say, he's always surprising me because when you're doing something good, it's always about style. It's about luxury products you don't expect to see on the wrist or the discovery wrist unless you know the brand. And this is very good because you're really surprising us. Mm. You surprise clients, you surprise new clients. You're doing something beautiful, I have to say. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. And see you soon back here. Don't forget to check out all our videos, etc., etc from Watches and Wonders 2023. And I think if we have time, we're gonna have a nice uh, little... I'm still waiting for you for the Chardonnay tonight. Come on. Okay, first Chardonnay, then spaghetti or both together. <laughs>
Very nice. Merci.